Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again with another exciting video. Hope you guys will enjoy it anyway. Got lots of interesting stuff happening today. First, we got some good and bad news with the contest giveaway, and then we're going to talk a little bit about um, the upcoming video, and then at the end of the video, a tutorial, uh, we're going to talk about what we'll do next week. So, uh, first of all, contest. Uh, unfortunately, M. McGee, 1976, did not claim his prize, which was these two paracord crosses that we made a couple weeks ago so I'm going to give these away to someone else and I've already done the drawing so I know who it is and also the the project we did last week the paracord scarecrow guy we're going to give that guy away here I've already done these random drawings it's kind of an interesting coincidence my biggest fan on my website or on my uh, YouTube page besides my wife mongo wongo 777 send me your email or your snail mail address and I'll send these to you anywhere in the continental United States absolutely free couldn't happen to a nicer guy okay the uh, per the paracord scarecrow guy that we made last week this one is going away to somebody who just subscribed to my channel today congratulations to house of fire 72 uh, send me your snail mail email address and we'll uh, get that out to you anywhere in the continental United States absolutely free okay so let's talk about the contest uh, how the contest works is all you have to do to enter is be subscribed if you're already in it you're already entered you can win multiple times possibly I'm doing uh, eight videos and um, each week we'll have a tutorial and we'll give that prize away on the next week's beginning of next week's video tutorial so um, we're halfway through. We've done the first four. Yay! Halfway through. So we finished up with pretty much with the knot work that we're going to be doing with the uh, wall knot. So we're going to be doing some completely new knot work next week and we'll be building off that. Today we're going to be doing a more advanced project and so uh, you're going to need a little bit more tools for this and we'll be showing you how to do that here in a minute. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be almost exactly the same as the scarecrow but this is going to be a voodoo doll Ooh, oh how exciting please guys don't re don't forget to always subscribe 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 okay all right uh welcome back guys okay so i'm ready to get started i've already pre-prepared my knot i've just taken these different lengths of cord from a scrap bag that i had and put everything together so I got some pretty wacky colors here you can see I've already done the two legs and the torso and uh, now I'm gonna tie the uh, knot for the head which is a new knot that we haven't done before and we'll need some more tools for that and the tools that we're going to use are right here I've got an awl and I've also got like a paracord needle that uh, that I use and some thread snips some scissors uh, a lighter and some needle and thread and uh, the reason this is kind of a more advanced knot is well it's just something we haven't done before and to do it in order to do it you need some more tools to work with and it requ requires a little bit of practice so uh, we'll see how we we do here I'm going to start it off with this uh, I don't know about a four foot length of uh, cord where the the middles are gone we're doing this all this this whole project in uh, uh, flat wall knot with a crown knot on the end just like we've done before if you haven't seen that I'll post the link down here for you alright everybody so if you're ready to start tying your diamond knot the first thing I want to try and explain here is to uh, get your cord lined up uh, for the bottom of the cord being down here pointing towards you and the top pointing away on the right side of your body and then make a little loop right in the right in the almost about uh, mm, I don't know a third of the way up your length of cord and then notice how my loop is pointing inside in other words the top of the loop here is pointing like in towards my belly button so if I flipped it over the other way and this cord is on the right side of my body now it's pointing away from me so it's on the inside and the top of the cord is pointing down towards you so another thing I want to bring to your attention the cord that's coming out of the top right now if you wanted to tie this onto something 
like a zipper pull or something like that you would now thread the top of the cord through this and then make another loop here just above your first loop only just like it only this time kind of move the loop down so that it's over the top of it so that the cord that's pointing up is going over both sides of your loop up here and then bring the cord the top the cord that's up at the top bring it down now and it just went under this cord here so the pattern is under over under over so it's under over the cord that's pointing down towards you under the first per piece of the loop your very first loop over the second part of the second loop and then under the other part of the loop there then kind of pull your cord tight so that it's even and this loop right here would be where you have it tied on to something if you've tied it on to a zipper pull or something like that and you can see you've kind of got a really nice symmetrical even pattern there uh, where it's kind of like a figure eight with the cross in the middle and you can kind of pull it so that it's all sort of tight and I want you to notice how the there's a X a box right in the middle also notice how this cord here is coming and looping around this way in a clockwise fashion I want you to keep that pattern here pick this cord that's pointing down towards you um, and follow it around so it's looping around like this clockwise so I'm going to loop it around and this big loop that you that would be tied on to something here in the middle of the project you go around it and then sort of in the center of the loop and then right up through the square that I pointed out to you earlier that's in the middle of the knot that we just tied up through it like that and then do the same with this other side here so th this this knot here if you follow it back it's looping around this way so keep it going around that way and then also up through the center okay so once you've done that grab a hold of the loop that would be tied onto something and that your free cords so that you can see the free cords down here hanging down here at the end of the loop at the top and then pull your knot so that it's sort of tight it will kind of get a little bunched up but that's okay now at this point we need to start taking the tension out of the knot so uh, I want you to notice here how the knot one of these lengths is quite a lot longer than the other one and the loop is really big so we want to kind of move this so that the two uh, working ends that we're going to be tying our walnuts with when this guy is done which will be the zombie's head or the voodoo doll's head uh, we want these two cords to be about the same length so start with the one that's uh, a little bit longer than the other one and follow it up through the knot and then just start working the tension out of it and this is where your awl can come in handy I don't normally use an awl for this but I'm going to just to kind of show you what it looks like so I'm just going to pick the longer cord and then I'm going to find out where it comes out by pulling on it a little bit when I pull on it a little bit then I can see where it's worked its way up through the middle of the knot and it's coming out right here so I'm just going to follow that cord all the way around the knot and I'm going to tighten it a little bit each time by pulling this all through and just kind of pulling the knot tension even all the way throughout until it comes up to the part of the loop here and then to find out where the loop comes out I'm going to do the same technique I did for the bottom by pulling on it and watching what cord moves when I pull on it So there it is. I'm going to take a bunch of the, the slack out of that loop because that loop is way too big for me. I don't like the size of that loop. I'm going to make it much smaller. Okay, and then keep just keep repeating that process. Follow the knot around. Keep tightening it until it comes out of the bottom where your working ends are. you don't want to tighten it super tight because you're going to be tying another strand over the top of this so it's kind of going to be a double uh, diamond knot when you're done and I think that's it ok 
Okay. Alright, so kind of pull on the bottom and the top there and kind of pull your knot into place a little bit so it's symmetrical most of the way around. And now you can see how we've got the working ends almost exactly even. That's probably the best one I've ever done as far as coming out symmetrical like that. And then the top of the, the zombie's head. Now you can try it just like that, but I found that compared to the size of the body that that knot might be a little bit small. So then what you can do is you can take your awl and you can get your second cord. It's about the same length melt the end and when you melt it always be careful doing that because you will burn yourself doing this even if you're careful uh, but you want to spin it so it comes to kind of a point well, I didn't get it that time I'll have to try it again this uh, cord is flat it's not real good paracord it's coming out flat so it's really hard to roll it's symmetrical. This is one problem that you get with this kind of a defect. I've talked about that before in paracord. Okay, there, I think I got it. Okay, you want it to be in a little bit of a point so that you can uh, kind of have that point is easier to move through the knot work as you go along. Okay, so I'm going to start off the same way that I started before, I'm just going to pick one of these cords here that's coming out of the bottom of this and I'm going to pull on it to see where it starts at. I can see it starts right here with this cord here. So I'm going to take this all and I'm going to push it from where this cord starts into where it starts working in the knot. And I'm going to make a, as big a hole there as I can and then as quickly as possible take that other and start working it in there and you can kind of use your awl to push it in push it through and that's how you work an awl like that now this knot you want to pull this so that maybe I don't know uh, two-fifths of it is out on the side and the other part is the the longer part is the part you're going to be tying the knot with so then uh, just follow this guy around so this he's going under this part of this knot so push it through like that and then immediately because it'll start shrinking up on you push your knot through if you have trouble try and push it through a little bit with your awl and then work it through I'm going to show you a couple more with the awl and then I'm going to switch to a different tool so you can get a idea of a couple different techniques as you can after you've stretched it out run that cord through there and then for the last time with this tool okay now I'm going to switch to this other tool this one that I'm always uh, swearing by this will make your work go so much faster all you do is take your end that you've already got to a point and put it in the end of this and kind of thread this needle onto it and then kind of work the twists out of your rope and then just go to it now this has become a much faster process for me as soon as I can get the first one started okay there we go make sure there's no twist in this one that you lay down on the top or it won't look quite right it's like see how there's a twist right there right there so just kind of pull it back out and then make the twist pull through and you go ahead and just keep going and here we finally come out where the loop is but we're not going to make a second loop um, we're just going to find out where this guy comes out at
tricky doing that one loop part at the top. Just follow the loop on over and follow up where it comes out on the other side. Just keep working it around. It's gonna have this uh, voodoo doll. It's gonna have a big pink head when we're done. It's starting to get hard. Okay, sorry there. We had a little technical problem uh, just at the very end of that. No, if we take just a second to pause anyway, we can see here that the whole knot now, except for the loop that came out of the top, which is tan, just like the cords that we started with, all the tan is covered up except this very last one. And I can tell by pulling on this cord that uh, it has to come through there, right up through the center of the middle of that knot, and out the bottom, and then we can start tying the wall knot for the neck with the four cords that are coming out of the bottom. So you just kind of got to work it through. This would be real difficult with an awl. This process sure makes it a lot easier with this particular tool. I'm going to have to go off camera for just a second while I get that knot started through there. Mm. cords coming out the bottom and a loop on the top and a nice kind of a globe shape here up top for the big pink uh, voodoo doll's head so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two guys here and I'm going to splice them together and make the arms and then I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. You got your little multicolored voodoo doll here with a little key ring loop at the top or whatever something so you can attach that onto something. And our diamond knot as a head. You could glue a couple googly eyes on there or something if you wanted to. So you could have your zombie looking all cross-eyed in different ways and stuff. Uh, just hot glue that on there or glue it on something super glue and then I tied about four walnuts for a neck and then you guys should know the rest you know walnuts 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 spliced in here crown knot and then you can finish the ends how you like I seem to like these days just to leave the sew it down here just above the crown knot and then just leave the the ends of the cord sticking out so they kind of look like fingers or a hand or whatever but you can cut those off and melt them or splice more cord in there and then do something else with it if you want whatever but uh, that's our project for this week hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in next week for another fun project okay guys hope you enjoyed that uh, brief video tutorial <clears throat> it's been fun I've enjoyed the first four weeks I'm looking forward to doing the second uh, half of this starting next weekend and uh, once again congratulations to Mongo Wongo 777 and House of Fire 72 my lucky one years for today uh, I just wanted to spend a minute to take some time to let you know that all these projects that we do they all can be done they don't have you don't have to do them exactly the way I tell you to do them you try and experiment and do different things that's how people come up with different ideas for different projects somebody came up to me with a scarecrow project uh, about two or three months ago and I'd never seen it before and they called it a voodoo doll but I didn't think that it was right to call it a voodoo doll because it didn't have a head it was just a neck and an arm and a torso and legs and uh, the purpose of voodoo doll stick pins in it and cause pain to your enemies and how can you ha cause your enemies to have a migraine or their eyes to throb or whatever without a head to stick pins in right so Anyway, I didn't think it was very realistic, so I added a, a head and a little ring at the top so you can put it on a keychain or something, and uh, my version of the zombie is born. 
you do your version of the zombie and you can tell how this work is kind of modular how you can build little pieces and splice them in come up with something else completely different that we haven't even shown you here you know do your own uh, version of a Ferrari or something with that key fob knot or something like that so be creative and enjoy it and always remember that when you if you do get frustrated the reason we're doing it is for fun and it's a relaxing hobby a lot of people really get into it so I hope you enjoy it take your time and uh, send me some video replies any of you guys out there that make some projects that uh, that maybe you benefit from a little bit of knowledge I laid down on you I'd love to see what you come up with so do a video reply I'll check it out and we'll we'll uh, look at it and see what people think all right everybody have a great day we'll see you next weekend oh wait don't forget to subscribe subscribe subscribe